Welcome everybody to another World of Tanks replay. My name is Maxwell and this one is for on the user Bektor77. He's driving the E75 on a standard battle on the Sacred Valley. E75 being a very good tier 9 heavy tank for the Germans. Very good tank, great armour to the front, decent armour to the side. Can be used very, very well in a side scraping situation. Has a decent enough cannon. As we can take a look at the hard stats here, 490 average damage, 246 millimetres of penetration. This thing in the right hands can be an absolute beast. Bektor has a little bit of bad luck in this game, although not till around about the middle towards the end of the replay. But even through the bad luck, he manages to have a very, very good game. Now, I would guess that maybe he's got the stock engine here because he's moving very, very slowly. He is getting helped along by that Panther 2 there, but... At different points in the battle, he does seem to be moving very, very slowly. Or maybe just the E75 is a lot slower than I actually remember it. So Bechtor playing very, very aggressively straight away, heading all the way forward to this advanced position here. And this can be a real do-or-die position for tanks, as uh, you tend to have a big clash here. And if you are not strong enough to hold your position and hold your nerve, you can get overrun very, very easily. Has a great shot on that AMX M445. Already done a thousand points of damage just with two shots. And that's the, that's the real good thing about this tank. That its average damage is 490. So pretty much every shot's going to be doing around 500 or more damage. So it's very easy to rack up the damage with this tank. The only thing that... Uh, that I'm not 100% happy with on the E75 is the long reload on the gun. It does seem to take longer to reload. Finds a VK-45B. You have to be careful here which shot he takes. Gets a beautiful hit onto the commander's hatch there. And gets 568, which is a very, very nice roll. This VK-45 just gives no cares whatsoever. He comes charging forward. He's focused completely on the 5120 takes him out there and as you can see like i've said you've got to hold your nerve and you've got to be aggressive in this position or you're going to get overrun and that's exactly what the enemy's doing here they are being aggressive does repair his engine there gets another great hit onto the vk45 gonna fall back a little bit from the 416 angles his armor nicely he is blocking the at15 a little bit but it's much more important to try and prevent the damage from the 416 than uh, to let the AT-15 go through. Looks like he's having second thoughts about going through, so Bechtor just forces his way through again. I'm going to come forward and try and get this 416. Finds an IS-3 across the way there. And see if we can get a shot onto him, but it doesn't look like it. Does get a great hit onto the 416. The AT-15 now blocking him. Luckily, the 416 doesn't look like he wants to come too far forward. Luckily, that one bounced because the AT-15 is being a bit of a jackass. The position that he's in, he can't really get out and do anything unless Bektor wants to come forward and be extra aggressive. Does get his track taken off, but he's already used his repair kit here. Object 416 comes through for a little ram for some reason. And then he gets taken out by the AT-15. As does the 4502 from earlier. But there isn't a second to spare. As they need to spin around and pay attention. There's M103 now. M103 come forward. Gets his track taken out by the AT-15. And that allows Bektor to get a great shot through the commander's hatch. A little bit of a low roll there. 469 damage. This tank is able to roll a lot lower than that. But that, anything in the 400s just feels low from this tank. There we go, gets hit in the face squarely by the SU-14-1. Does over a 1,000 damage and ruins his ammo rack. Another low roll on this M103. He's obviously deploying some kind of uh, some kind of defensive hacks there. Only joking, those things don't exist. He's just going to spend a little moment raging in the chat while the Lover and the AT-15 go forward to take on this E-75. As the SU-14-1... Did over a thousand damage and ruined his ammo rack. Now they're going to come forward and try and take on the C-75. Who so far hasn't taken any damage from these tanks. But Bektor is able to get a great shot through his side. And take off 496 points of that armour. Of those hit points, sorry. Falls back behind the hill. Maybe he's talking in chat again. Maybe he's just recovering or hiding from the artillery. Nope, having another little rage in chat. Is E-75 still alive? AT-15 has flanked around. 
Bektor with his damaged ammo rack has a punishingly long reload now. I would reckon it's probably going to be around about 20 some seconds now with that damaged ammo rack. And that is a real shame. As his ammo rack got damaged at around 4,500 points of damage. And as you're about to see, he goes on to get a hell of a score. So even with a damaged ammo rack, this tank and this player are still able to do some great work. Although that isn't the last of his bad luck in this match. As you can see, would have been reloaded already against this Mod 1, but it doesn't really matter as he's still able to get a hit. And the T28 prot comes r charging in for the kill. And that's 6,000 points of damage done so far. Game's pretty even, 11 kills to 10. Both bases getting captured. It looks like these guys should be able to reset their base capture fairly easily. It's going to be pretty difficult for that T28 prototype to get in there and take out that Yag Tiger 88. So this one may be a victory via capping. Going to allow his gun to aim all the way in because this is really a shot you cannot miss. Not because of the how far along the base capture was, but just because it's going to be a 20-some second relay, uh, reload. If you miss that shot, it's going to be a long time until you can cause any more damage. So got to allow that gun to close in all the way Looks like the T28 prototype is on his way to the enemy base now. The KV-4 has taken out the... Uh, I'm not sure who was left there. And it looks like the T28 proc gets the Tiger 88. Luckily, Bektor is able to take out the... Uh, the T-54 Mod 1 in the end. Was that who it was he was shooting at? I'm not 100% sure. Missed that one while I was looking at the minimap. Charioteer gets taken out now as well. And that just leaves the KV-4 and T-28 Prot on the battlefield. Still could go either way though. 13 kills to 12. Not really sure how much health either of those tanks have got left. The AT-15 looking pretty healthy. T-28 Prot probably a one shot. Just going to sit here and chill for a minute. 26 second reload there we go so gonna line himself up finds the kv4 falls back just to get himself as much cover as possible lets his gun close in but no there we go the t28 comes flying in on a clearly aiming e75 he was clearly in sniper mode and aiming at that kv4 but the t28 was just like nope I want myself some of this action, and he gets taken out. And what a ridiculous move from the Allied T28 prop there. And not only has that evened up the score, but that now gives a 26-second reload to the E75 here. He can't really seem to get a shot on this KV-4. Can he sneak one through? Nope, that one just bounced harmlessly off the front armor. And now they're going to have to try and turn their attention to this T28, which is moving up the hill. For his part, the Allied T28 isn't particularly angry at this. He probably just alt f 4 or maybe smashed his face on the keyboard until his computer shut down. Because let's face it, that's the level of play displayed right about there. Enemy T28 being very, very sneaky right now. Bektor trying to decide where to move himself. Does get a clear line of sight on the side of the T28, but it looks like he's playing a little bit cagey. Here T15, unable to do anything about this. Bektor going to move himself forward. He's got to be careful because his T28 does have a decent cannon with some pretty good armor penetration. There we go. Finds the T28. Gets a shot through the side. That is his second kill. His first kill of the match. It obviously shows zero because of the allied T28 that wanted to commit suicide earlier on. With 6,700 points of damage. Bektor telling the AT-15 to stay behind him as he has the majority of the armor. The AT-15 doesn't want to die. KV-4 will find it pretty difficult to penetrate an angled E-75 from the front. And Bektor knows this, so he's going to go charging in. Unfortunately for him, he's got a damaged ammo rack. Gets a great shot through the side. Sets the KV-4 on fire. And that's probably the best thing that could have happened in this situation. KV-4 bounces. Bektor's going to go in for the ram. But the KV-4 weighs a metric ton. Making sure that the AT-15 still has a line of sight at the KV-4. Whilst blocking his shots with his turret. And that is GG and the victory.
So awesome game played there by Bechtor despite his little instances of bad luck there. In the end, picks himself up zero kills. Well, that is about one kill, but over seven and a half thousand points of damage and really showing off his skills in the E75. So awesome game played there by you despite the stats on paper. Thank you very much for sending that one in. Don't forget, guys, if you've got yourself a great replay, send that into replay at screenreality.com. The link for that is in the description. I have been Maxwell. This has been a Wall of Tanks replay, and I will catch you guys next time.